turn to another aspect of this whole business, which is the House of Lords. Yeah. You have said in the past that you want the abolition of the House of Lords. You want to replace it. Everyone says that in opposition. Nothing ever happens. After what we've been, we've been hearing about today, is the abolition of the House of Lords now an urgent matter for the Labour Party? and it will be big in your manifesto at the next election. Well, we certainly need change in the House of Lords. That's and, not well, saying. Do you want well, to abolish it? What I've done, Andrew, is um, I've set up a commission to look at the future of the UK, including the institutions right. such as the House of Lords. Gordon Brown is leading that. Um, in and your famous I'll look at places, his... you said you were going to abolish the House of Lords. Well, Are you not now going to abolish the House I've of Lords? I've said we need to change the House of Lords. I stand by that. Um, I've asked Gordon Brown to look into exactly what those changes should be, and we'll look at them. But you can't... Waking up this morning to see the Sunday Times... Um, report of, I think, 15 of the last 16 mega donors and treasurers of the Conservative Party all trooping in um, as peers to the Lord. Okay. Nobody can make the case that we don't need to change. So let's talk about what needs to happen next to start to clear up the problems over lobbying. You want to ban anyone who holds ministerial office from having a, a paid consultancy, is that right? But not from having a job in total? No, I think they should be banned. Um, there's an argument as to how long that should be. Um, some have argued for five years. That's something that I think we need to talk about the exact period. But yes, there should be that change. You shouldn't be able to come out of being a minister and straight into a consultancy um, of some sort that draws on what you've been doing as a minister. Well, let me ask you about Lord Faulkner. I am not saying Lord Faulkner's a lobbyist in any way, but he's your shadow attorney general, and he has got a job with a firm called Gibson Dunn. And Gibson Dunn says on its yeah. website, the practice group blends traditional lawyering and business skills with the capabilities of a top-flight lobbying firm. Should he be working for that company? Well, I think... It is important to distinguish between the position of those in the House of Commons and those in the House of Lords. They're just, allowed to lobby, are they? No, just hear me out. Um, in the House of Commons, um, MPs are paid a salary um, as um, full-time members of Parliament. In the House of Lords, of course, um, th th there's an allowance, a daily allowance, but nobody receives a salary. So many, many people in the House of Lords have, have jobs if that... If was a minister um, in your government, would you be allowed to keep that job? He wouldn't be allowed to lobby, um, and um, I wouldn't have that, and that would be absolutely mm. right. But I do think that um, the position of someone in the House of Lords who has not got an income, as we in the House of Commons have, mm. is different. Mm. Um, your predecessor, Jeremy Corbyn,